everyone. And let's take a look at number two here in section 10.2. We're going to compute the partial sums for this series here. Uh, notice they're using the index K. I know we use N a lot, but that's okay. We can change that around a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and list out the terms of the series that we're adding up. I sometimes refer to these as the A sub N's, or I guess in this case, A sub K's. When K is 1, of course, we've got negative 1 to the first power, so that's negative 1. Uh, 1 to the negative 2 power is 1, so I get a product of negative 1. And, and notice really this thing, k to the negative 2, I could just rewrite this as uh, negative 1 to the k divided by k squared. I'm not sure why they didn't just do that. Makes better sense to me. But it's just going to be whatever k is squared in the bottom. And then this negative 1 to the k will be negative, basically, if k is what? Odd. So like when we plugged in 1 here, we get negative 1 um, over 1 squared. When k is 2, we get negative 1 squared, which is positive 1, over 2 squared, which is 4. And then we get negative 1 cubed, which is negative 1, 1 over what? 3 squared 1 night. So notice it's just alternating between negative and positive. And so these are the terms that we're adding up. These are the A sub K's if you want, if, if you will. Now the partial sums are the S sub N's or I guess S sub K's, I'm not quite sure with what letter to use. But again, these are the partial sums, right? This is going to be, remember this, S sub one will be the equal to A sub one. S sub two will be A sub one plus A sub two. So I'm going to add these two together. There's S sub 2. S sub 3 will be A sub 1 plus A sub 2 plus A sub 3. Or I can just think about it as S sub 2, which is the sum of the first two, plus A sub 3. And so S sub 2 plus A sub 3, if I do the arithmetic, find my common denominator. Of course, Achieve is asking for us to give the exact value in a simplified fraction. So make sure you do that. This is the uh, result. And then we can find S sub 4, which would be the sum of the first four. So just add those up. You can also think of it as S sub 3, which is the sum of the first three plus the fourth one here. And um, when I do this, we uh, find this as our result. Um, again, finding a, of course, you have your calculator to help with converting to fraction and simplifying. But if you're having trouble with the arithmetic here, adding these two fractions to find a common denominator, right? 36 is 4 times 9, which is 2 squared times 3 squared. 16 is 4 times 4, or 2 to the fourth power. And then when you're finding the least common denominator of these two, it's also called the uh, basically the least common multiple of these two, you simply grab any factor that occurs in either expression, if it occurs in both, you take the higher exponent. So 2 squared, 2 to the 4th, I'm going to grab 2 to the 4th. 3 squared, I'm going to grab that. And of course, 16 times 9 is 144. That's actually the least common denominator. At any rate, we get this as our final uh, result for S sub 4. Okay, hope this is helpful.